Have you seen the thing in the paper here? They found the bones of the great Tan Bo Kalai. Who's that? Billy Bob's bull from up the road. Away with that. Have you never heard tell of the cattle raid of Cooley? Sure you're missing out. Go on, tell me. It all began in the throes of a heated argument between King Elil of Connacht and Queen Maeve. They were both bleeding arguments so much that they brought their riches and threw them down on the ground, so they did. So then Maeve gave her mate Dara a wee text for a lend of his bloody great bull. Sure the next thing her men were up partying with the men of South Armagh. You know, even if Dara didn't give us the bull, we would have taken it anyway. What? Leave! No bull for you! And there was no bull for them, cause they were cheeky. So Maeve, there's her eyes there, got all. I want bull! I will have bull! Before she could go all crazy in death, she got a message from a local fortune teller. The local one? Aye, the local fortune teller. Maeve, wait! What do you want, old woman? Beware! Q Cullen will totally wreck you! Here! You bleeding idiots. Sure, she wouldn't say it like that now. Usher, can you believe the cheek of that Maeve one? It was wild fierce, lads. Sure, let me tell you the rest. The poor lads in Ulster got an awful dose of the pangs. What are pangs? Basically. So then, enter the legend of Coholan. Guess it's just me now. Sure, didn't he single-handedly just beat the old dung out of anybody Maeve sent his way? Men upon men upon men upon men. Jesus. Upon men. Until Queen Maeve went up to him and was all, If you join my side, I will give you money, land, and women. Mm, nah. But Cúhalan was having none of it and kept beating the life out of people. So Maeve had one final plan. Hmm? He's beat everyone else. Time to bring in his stepdad. Wait, let's not do this. Your mom will kill me. I yield on one condition, that you return the favour someday. Grand, I'll see you Sunday for tea. Hmm, that didn't work. Time to try the stepbrother. Okay, one final, final plan. And like typical stepbrothers in the medieval Irish fantasy times. Sure, they're just beating lumps out of each other, using whatever was lying around. But after days of fighting, Cahullin finally got through for day's armour. Can you believe this is the talk of the town today? Keep her late, our fella. I want to hear what happens next. Well, the lads were still mucking about with the old pangs. <laughs> Feel a lot better, actually. Me too. Me three. Ah, oh, fancy a fight? Ah, sure, why not? Ah, oh, and they had a fight they did. Fight they did. Wait, is that my dad's? But Cúhollin was still recovering from his battle with Ferdia and could only hear the sounds of the battle from his sick bed. Cúhollin ran to his stepfather and invoked the promise from earlier in the story. Time to yield, Dad. What promise from earlier? Your, your one over there was saying earlier, but I wasn't even here. Will you let me tell the story, you idiot? Ah. Seriously, I'll tell Mum and you. Damn it, Ali. This isn't going well. Time to go home. Quick, grab the bull. Before they could cross the border, the two bulls went at each other for some reason, and the brown bull won. Yes, that's graphic. Will we go to war with Ulster again? For the crack. How about you just be friends? Bad idea. I don't get that part. Yeah, I don't think the guys drawing this got this either. Actually, guys, that's a great idea. So they just become friends, then? Pretty much, pretty much. That's the way they did it. But why did they kill that guy who- Because they just did. That's what they decided, Gavin. And so ends the story of the Tonbo Kulanya. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs>